Hello and welcome to today's Ninja Trader ecosystem event, Entry Signals Generator, with Steve Tremper of Tremper.com. My name is Chris and I'm a platform representative at Ninja Trader. Before we start the webinar, I have a few housekeeping notes. This webinar is presented by Ninja Trader LLC, which is the technology company responsible for developing and supporting the Ninja Trader software. Brokerage related questions should be directed to Ninja Trader Brokerage using the phone number or email on the screen. Lastly, if you are new to NinjaTrader, please make sure you sign up for your free NinjaTrader demo with real-time market data. Our platform is always free for advanced charting, strategy backtesting, and trade simulation. You could get your free demo account by following the link on the screen. Before I turn the mic over to Steve, it is important to understand that futures, foreign currency, and option trading contain substantial risk and is not suitable for every investor. It is possible to lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Also, please remember that these training sessions are not a solicitation or a recommendation, but simply educational in nature. Thanks again for joining us today. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome to the Ninja Trader Room, Steve. Hi, Chris. Okay, so basically just uh, thanks thanks again for, for uh, having me on here and giving me the opportunity to uh, explain what they are. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about what are the entry signals and uh, the indicator settings uh, go over a couple of uh, required required settings and and some optional things that you could do in there if you want to uh, play around with it. And then uh, individual sitting settings that you could use for your ATM, um, your trade management, and then there's some internal stop management if you want to go that way too. Um, and then I'll talk about where you can find the uh, generator and then, the, you know, any cost and, and then we'll go through questions. And if anybody has any questions, I'll try my hardest to, um, you know, look at the look at the chat. But sometimes I get involved and I miss some. So anyway, about me, uh, my name is Steve, Steven, technically Steve Tremper. Um, basically, I've been in the fire service for 40 plus years and I retired a couple of years ago. Um, I started learning futures and whatnot on my off days uh, at the firehouse. And then I did some options and Forex and failed and all that. And then ultimately uh, ended up in the futures, which which is by far the, the way to go. In any event, um, so now I just trade futures and that's it. But I don't certainly want to come across as an expert or I've seen other people presenting and whatnot. And I'm just a trader, just uh just trading by myself in my own place and my own desk and, and that's it. So that's kind of where the Tremper.com uh, came from is because I have the web page and, and I was able to just start a little uh, chat chat room. And, and so, you know, it's a lonely game. So we were able to chat back and forth and we have our social hour and things like that. But needless to say, we all struggle and even I do too, struggle with the, you know, psychological side of it and the emotional side of it when things aren't going your way. And, and actually that's where the discipline manager uh, came from, from the very beginning. Um, just, just for me and because of my lack of issues. And so, um, needless to say, that's, that's, I've come a long way and it's gotten a lot better, but from time to time, it still pops me. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's how the indicators, you know, came to be. And then lately I've kind of been more into the, uh, algo part of it the last couple of years, probably, um, uh, been more into the algorithms and whatnot. And that's ultimately where this, uh, entry, uh, signals generator came from. So real quick, I'll talk about the disclaimer. I know they talked about it real quick, but I just got to go through it. You know, just I'll touch it real fast. Uh, you know, futures and, and options and whatnot have a potential, uh, large potential risk. And uh, don't I know that? Been there, done that. So um, as far as hypothetical and simulated performance, they they don't have the, they do not meet eye to eye. So that's pretty much all I'm going to say for that. Um, you, you can read all those and I'm sure you've heard them on every lecture you've been to. So more importantly, it's the nuts and bolts is, you know, what are the entry signals? Well, the entry signals are, it's a generator um, that is based on some internal logic 
And it's once the internal logic had met all the requirements to establish a valid, uh, it's all about probabilities and, and trading is nothing more than probabilities. And due to the nature of each individual market, each indicator needs their own sets of criteria based on the market. And even though a lot of things are similar, they're, they're still a little different sizes. And I think everybody could agree that, you know, ES and, and NASDAQ definitely, you know, move differently. So currently we have um, the uh, gold and GC, uh, crude, NASDAQ and ES. And what we what we came from is we just named them. Their names are derived from actually our pets. So, you know, you might hear me mention about, you know, the pets or in social hours, sometimes we'll talk about the pets or one is specifically, we, we call them Leo. It's like anything, it's like a name, you know, so um, NASDAQ, Luna or, or Ruby. So that's kind of where that came from. It makes it a little easier to, to kind of talk to. But um, so I just, I'll just go into a couple of charts and, and show you what I have. And so this is uh, the signal here. It generates the signal, and you could <clears throat> you can see how the internal logic will trail it down, and then it'll it'll stop basically if it if it doesn't uh, if it meets the criteria, and then the same thing over here when things meet go on the upside if things are going, and you could add all the moving averages. You don't need any moving averages at all. You don't need anything. Um, I personally like some, and, and I think everybody has their own indicators. And uh, some people use it as a confirmation. Uh, it might get in first, and then they kind of wait for uh, their own independent uh, indicators or strategy, whatever there's, they're using, and they'll use it as a confirmation. And sometimes this will take it before it will, but it's nice to have the confirmation. Sometimes the, you know, your own indicator or your own reading of charts will say, hey, I, I, I want to go long here. And then you get a confirmation and, and you know, what you do with it from that point is, is here nor there. And um, so anyway, you can see how it trails up and then ultimately gets out. And these are just, uh, um, you know, trade management is the key. So this in, in, its, in its basic is the, is the generator. And that's what we're talking about as far as the logic, it generates the signals. <clears throat> And the most important thing to do is how are you going to handle the how are you going to handle it? Um, uh, okay, um, how are you going to handle the management? Are you just going to scalp for a couple ticks? And there's some people that do that. And if you're going to go for the long one, so you really got to do your management and you got to do your due diligence and you really have to know your market that you're that you're playing in and you know see in the, the time of day, et cetera, and see what you can get out of it. And again, based on your own experience and other charts that you might be looking at, this is a great little tool for, for entries, but you know, where you take it is, is up to you. Now you notice here that there's no ATM strategy running because in this scenario, it's using the internal logic. And uh, so you could use either or. As far as this panel here and, and way it works is that there is <clears throat> the split screen right here um, and you, it'll show you the version number and it'll show you the arrows. So it's a little easier to pull out the, the arrows when they go. There's also a sound that you could, you could change it, of course, but there's a, a default sound and you can even turn it off, et cetera, if you don't want those at all. But anyway, this is, this is kind of what it looks like. And it's based on a range chart. Um, this one, particularly for, for crude is based on an eight range chart. NASDAQ's chart is a little bigger, um, only because it's NASDAQ. And um, so another slide here, um, again, it's, you know, kind of similar. This one's actually in one, um, same thing. And you could see how it, how it was trailing and then got out. I don't know if it's the same trade or not, but um, in any event, so this is just a, a couple slides. Uh, this here is the uh, uh, status box. This is not part of the, of the entry signals generator. This is a tool that you could download for free on the web webpage. Um, I like it. I mean, actually it was, uh, you know, I got it obviously for me um and and but you could download it free it's a nice little tool gives you some information especially with a lot of the prop firms and whatnot dealing with unrealized um so this this happens to be my chart uh i don't like the the pain over here because i don't really want to see it it just takes up too much space so that's why i have you know i've got the uh, status box up there you can see in this case you have the uh what version you're on it's a little older version 
Um, it tells you, you know, if you're in sleep mode, it'll tell you if you're on an old version, you know, you need, need to do it. It'll tell you why it's not trading anymore. If you're wondering how come I'm not taking that trade, well, it's, 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 it's hit. You notice I don't have a panel on this, on this screen is I've turned it off because I like it all on the one panel and see everything. And, and again, I've got the main, the main moving average uh is is the mainstay you don't have to have that on but I, I would assume everybody has some kind of fibs or or moving average on their screen i can't imagine trading naked although i i sure i know i know some people that said they do but i i prefer to have some you know window dressing on there but the reason why i have this moving average on here is because everything's going to happen around the moving average here um you're, you're not going to get trades way up here or down here, you're only gonna get trades around the moving average because the logic is based inside here. And one of the main mainstays is this moving average. So once you start getting in the area, that's when you could start thinking to yourself, okay, what do my other charts say? What, what am I looking to do uh, long or short? And then if it trips, then, then you've got your confirmation that, it, uh, that it's set up internally. And then you could decide, you know, if you take it or not, or if you have it turned on, it'll take it, and then you manage it there from there. Um, every time you do turn on the uh, indicators, you know, when you go into indicator settings, every single time you turn it on or connect, it's always going to default to the uh, paused mode. So you will have to manually um, put it in the active state. Level one and level twos are, are gone. This is an older version. We took those off. They're internally in there, but they're just they're just turned because they're always on anyway. So this is an indicator. It's it's not a strategy. Um, you know, there's reasons for going with uh, you know strategies and reasons for going with indicators. But in this particular case, this is an indicator, and you just add it like any other indicator into your into your uh, you know uh, box of box of uh, tools there, and then you pull it up. And everything is set now for defaults. The way that um, you really don't have to do anything. There are there's a few things I'll go over into the settings, but all in all, the, um, the the defaults are good enough. It's everything that really goes from this point forward is how you manage the trade. So the settings are pretty much locked in. They're internal. You don't have a lot of a lot of wiggle room with that. It's everything is going to be based on your trade management and what happens. What you could also do. And I know some people do that is they just put it on SIM and and they could have a trip trigger on a SIM and they could hear it say, you know, order filled or something like that. And then they could look at their charts that way and see if if it, you know, agrees with with their philosophy and, and what they want to do with it and how they want to handle it. Um, you can you can have it on the chart or you can have it on its own separate chart. Either way, it doesn't matter. So before I move on to some of the settings, if anybody has any questions um, regarding, uh, let me let me look here at the chat here. Very small, very small portion of the screen is used for the slides. Not sure what that is. If you have Zoom, you should be able to manipulate the screen. What are we? Are you able to see that? What I'm seeing here? Oops. Can you can you guys see this? Chris, are you there? Is there I, I, everybody's being able to see my screen, right? I think. Uh, yes. Okay. So I'll move on. So in any event, we have um, we have the settings. Um, so the most and probably important thing that we um, that we have is the AT interface. That the automated trade interface. That you will not have any trades trigger unless that is turned on so that's probably first and foremost that if you now if you don't want any trades to turn on you just want to plot it on the screen with the arrows that's fine then you don't need to do it but if you do want to if you do want to uh do that i'm getting somebody saying in here that um you're still less than full screen i'm not quite sure what you're referring to but i've got a full screen here so in any event, the um, that's a must. So then the settings themselves, <clears throat> um, the required times, that is a requirement that's in here. We have it defaulted to go to, you know, 8 o'clock uh, and 12 o'clock 
you can change that obviously same thing with the daily targets and and the and the max loss you can set those um and then it will stop trading it'll still plot um it'll still plot the uh, uh the, the trades but it just uh the uh it just won't actually trigger any executions so then the same in either direction so um this is what I was talking about as far as the long and short signals. If you want sound, you could turn those on or you could put anything in there that you want as far as the sounds are concerned. Um, this is the account. You have to, It'll default to SIM. Um, and then you, you obviously change it to playback or if you're going to uh, do it on a, another account, you have to change it there too. So the um, this is the ATM strategy that we need to have in there. And those... Those are, are, you know, defaulted into it when you when you pull them in and you install it. Now you could change those, and I'll talk a little bit about the ATM strategies themselves too. But um, that this is basically where it gets its logic from. And so once you figure out what you want to do in here, then you can then then it's going to run it. But it does have to be in here. If it doesn't have an ATM strategy in there, it won't work. Uh, then you could decide if it's a you know market order or limit order. Uh, we do have Nasdaq set as a uh, market only because it's so so crazy. Um, number of contracts, etc. And down here uh, it talks about your stop management. If you do not want to use the internal stop management, you would uncheck that, and then it would run solely on the ATM strategy that you have assigned to it. Um, and then if you, it runs off the uh, moving average. And if you want that, obviously it's defaulted to on. And then if, and then the zigzag indicator, it's defaulted uh, to on. Again, you could turn those off. But again, if you're using the stop management, you'd really want to put those on. So that would be, that would be the stop management portion of it. Um, further on down the screen, we just, obviously there's, uh, if you want background colors that show the bias and then the, uh, the colors of such. You could change. Um, this happens to be crude, and then that's pretty much it. Or pretty much uh, this one here is the panel. How you split the uh, split the screens. Um, as I said earlier in the in the picture, somebody had theirs on, and they have it. Uh, um, I have mine set as the same as the input series. If you clicked on there and said panel one or panel two or or a new you know create a new panel or something like that. It will uh, it will split that section up in your screens, and then you could make it bigger. Or, you know, some people might have just like a half inch, or you could stretch it, and make it as long as you want. But I don't like to see it at all, so that's why it's off. And it says it says the same as the input series. So that's about it for that one. Um, then next is the stop losses. Um, now stop losses are a great tool. Uh, to help you know mitigate your risk and it's all about risk and and in the in the stop management that we internally have in there it's really tight and for a reason because it's it's you know you try to you got to protect the capital and so if you are the type of trader that you know can has a little bit more risk tolerate uh, can tolerate a little bit more then you know you can make it a little bigger but you always got to you know you got to manage your risk and and that's an individual thing with that. Nobody knows really the risk reward. Everybody talks about risk reward ratios and whatnot, and that's fine. We could certainly do the risk, but what's the reward? Nobody really knows what the reward is because they don't know how far it's going to go. If you're only going to go, um, you know, if you only have it set to take 10, 10 ticks, let's say, well, then, then there's a reward and you can deal with your risk appropriately. But if you're looking for you know, where is the market going to go? Nobody knows that. If everybody knows that, we'd all be a millionaire. So you don't really don't know what the reward is. Uh, you can go by averages and, you know, what what you normally can get out of it. But, you know, every trade's different. So nobody really knows what that is. So, it's, so you really got to, you know, fine tune the risk part of it. And that's what it's really all about. And that's why internally it's really tight. It'll It'll tighten up quickly. If it goes right away, then fine. And if it comes back and pops it, well, you know, then so be it because it's it's uh, it's better to get, you know, get out early and then, you know, get back, get back in if you had to. You know, the old saying is uh, I'd rather be I'd rather be out wishing I was in than in wishing I was out. So um, the question should be that, you know, is basically the probability of success. That's that's what we're trying to do here. So and each market, again, it all depends on what you're doing. Each market has different characteristics. So it's your job to know which 
stop is needed. You certainly can't, you know, take a take an ES stop and put it on a NASDAQ um, uh, for risk because it probably whip you around. So you don't really want to get in the habit of moving your stops and adjusting them. Um, sure, everybody does a little bit, you know, a few ticks here and there, you know, kind of, kind of, uh, uh, you know, adjust it here and there. But you really, you, you don't want to just be, you know, a little more, a little more, a little more, and, and then I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll add in or something like that. Um, you just end up, you know, taking too much pain. So the main thing is keep the keep the capital, and so that's the whole purpose about these stop losses. Then. So you definitely want those. So and there and there we go. You know, with the account, the daily stop and the goals. Um, it's it's uh, it's account based. So right now I have all four will be running, and it, I don't really care which one gets there to to the end. So if the account, not so much, it's not the indicator, meaning that if this indicator makes, you know, let's say you set it for five hundred dollars, if this indicator makes five hundred dollars then it'll stop, but the other ones will keep going. And that's not the case. They're all based on the same account. So whoever gets there first, then, you know, that goes fine. Give them the gold star and that that's it. Right now we're looking at it on, on an account basis. Now, if you're only running one, then I guess it, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, but it will all be, it, it, if you're running another uh, strategy or something else on the same account, it won't take any more trades if your account, you know, meets that, meets that criteria. So it looks at the account. So, and it is realized. So we have to kind of, you know, there's a difference between unrealized and realized. I think everybody should know that by now, but um, it is based, it does have to calculate and it needs the bar to calculate the change. And the same thing when you're turning on the indicator, it needs at least one bar to calculate before it could uh, come up and, and, you know, turn on and say, I'm ready to go. And so same thing is, is that you might have a, uh, a profit target of $500 and it meets $500 and it gets to $600 and then and then it comes back down and you get out at you know 550 well that's fine it's realized at 550 now it won't take any it, it won't take any more thereafter um, so that's enough said on that one uh, let's see ATMs so the ATMs are you know the advanced trade management business that that is a requirement you do have to have those in order for the indicator to you know activate and so one of the questions you know new people get I, I can't get to take any trades well there's there's reasons and you have to have an ATM and that really pretty much is up to you everybody has their own risk management I can't stress this enough this is this is a signal generator and so we call it a generator because it's it's got logic around the moving average area and so when it gets there that's when you want to start looking at it um, but as far as how you manage the trade, totally up to you. So, you know, these can, these can vary, you know, greatly. So some of the ones that we were playing with, and, and lately I've even tweaked them since then because the markets just, uh, they've gotten a little better, I do think this month, but, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, it, they, they just aren't behaving they're just back forth in this whole whipsaw business so you kind of get butchered up a little bit there but uh, again that's that's everybody's business as far as the trade management part of it but but you can see basically you just have your quantities and it's just your standard atm strategy uh we have 19 then your profit and whatnot and that's pretty much about it so um See then the, the same thing, and if you want to watch some videos, there uh, these are ninja uh, videos on their their you know how to videos on on the uh, ATM and then on the stop strategy. And if you want to see these, uh, I could probably put the link in chat somewhere if anybody wants them. But um, if not, you could take a screenshot or something, just actually type it in, I guess. But I'll I'll I'll, I'll see if I can uh, put them in the chat if anybody's interested. Um, see, moving forward. Okay, so there is, I did create a troubleshooting page because, and that's actually found, I'll, I'll show you where to get it. But anyway, this is it because there's a lot of times, um, you know, people are, 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 they can't get something to work or whatever. And it's just, it's just something small. And so rather than, you know, answering emails and whatnot all the time, I just kind of created this and this helps out a little bit as far as, uh, um you know what it is and as i said uh one of the main things is that uh that that uh 
you have to enable the AT functionality there. So um, I'll show you where to get that here in a minute. Um, okay, so again, I'll just do a shameless plug on the discipline manager. Uh, the uh, psychology and discipline rules, uh, we, I, you know, I can't stress enough about the, the risk and uh, protecting the capital. Um, you know, getting out too quickly, holding positions too long, skipping trades out of fear uh, of loss, you know, overtrading all these. That's what started the discipline manager. And, you know, it can't help you with your uh, psychology, uh, but it will help you with your discipline. And that will lead to a health of your psychology. So an upset on that, but you can get tools on that. And that's this is uh, one of a, a good uh, a good tool to have, especially if you're having problems with you know, over trading like I was. I mean, that's how that's how it started. It was it was basically built for me. And then somebody said, hey, there's people who want it. So that's how it kind of came to be. But enough said on that. So we do have some upcoming webinars on on that. Actually, Saturday I will be doing one specifically on the discipline manager. So if you want to if you want to get a little bit more onto that, you could you could do that. So um, but more importantly, you know, how do you, how do you download it? How do you check it out and, and you want to play with it? Um, so what you would do is you would go to, you know, interpret.com and you're going to go to tools. There's a little path there, but just go to tools. And it's this one right here, entry signals. And the discipline manager is up there. And that status box I was talking about is right there since we're here. And inside here, when you go to the, when you get inside here, you're going to get your download files. Now I'm, thinking about changing this and just to put them as a bundle because they'll be all four and and that way you don't have to do them individually so uh, that that may change we'll we'll see where that uh, goes and if you if you use them if you don't use them that's fine it's not going to hurt anything you just don't don't turn them on but you can get the one you want but at least that way it'll just be one download and that's it but needless to say you could just download these uh, as is they come down and and they're all set up and you could I we totally recommend that you would do this in you know sim and and uh, market playback and and play around with it for a while and get familiar with it and see how it works. The uh, the troubleshooting uh, that I was talking about is right here in the center. Um, that'll answer some of the questions that you might have. There's a little ins in installation uh, installation and settings video. I maybe just go a little bit more into depth of of it might be actually a little old, so I should probably redo that again. But there's probably some things on there that you don't even need anymore. Um, and then there's an old webinar if you want to see that. Uh, let's see. Um, here are some indicator uh, options that you could do. Um, some people like the you know ATR to kind of get a guide of of where they might be going, you know, with based on the particular uh, ATR that we're using right now. And then the uh, the target zones, another one if, um, is is a nice one. You can all find those under the tools status box, as I mentioned. Oops, sorry, I'm getting back. Um, did I mess things up there? Sorry about that. Hit the wheel. Um, and then so the indicators you could put on, you know, Kelter channels, you know, anything you want, Fibonacci's, whatever kind of indicator you want, you can add to it. Further on down the page. Um, we have the, the version that we're currently running, and then it talks about the settings that I'm running, um, which I should actually change because I've to. I've changed them a little bit recently. And then there's, uh, and this is what I talk about, the, the enable the automation thing. So, uh, but this right here will give you, and if you want to get updates, uh, you would click on this ring. That way, anytime I, there's an update, you would, well, there's two things. One, you would get the email saying there's an update, but then also, yeah, there there is going to be a, um, a sentence on the screen that'll say, "Hey, you're you know you're using the old version. You might want to go check it out the new." So that'll show up on your screen. So, in any event, let's move forward. So prices, uh, the indicator is they're separate because everybody has their own their own uh, you know market that they they trade. So GC and MGC, and obviously the micros are just kind of combined into one kind of thing, but. Um, GC, uh, gold, and then, as I say, Bell, it's, it's Bell, it's Luna, it's Ruby, or Luna's over here, NASDAQ, and crude is Leo. So uh, the initial price right now, we're not charging anything for the indicator. I can guarantee you that will change in the future, but right now it's it's absolutely free. The only thing that we had to do is add a, a little, you know, small monthly maintenance fee because of the fact that it it's just very time consuming. We get a lot of... Uh, 
you know, requests to, to do a lot of things. Matter of fact, the whole automation part of it came with, you know, requests. We have the trade group that you could certainly, you know, become a member of if you want it. It's free. It's just in Skype and we talk about it and, and how to do things. And it just, you know, basically traders, it's a traders group. That's all it is. It's just, we talk trading, you know, as I say, it's kind of a lonely, lonely game. So, um, but right now you can just download it, start it for seven days and, you know, try it on market playback or SIM and, and we're available to, to help you out and get it, and, you know, to play with it. And uh, if you do after that want to uh, go ahead and subscribe to it, then you would click on one of the, like this one right here happens to be Leo. So you can click on one of these buttons right here and it'll tell you, it'll, get, it'll send you to a, a PayPal account. But again, uh, right now it is nothing. It's only going to be the, you know, the maintenance fee. And, but I, I, I will guarantee you that's not going to be around forever. But right now we're, we're constantly changing and, and taking, uh, you know, wish lists and, and things like that and tweaking, you know, to make it better, obviously. So that's, that's why. So with today's special offer, um, what we're doing is we're going to offer the 30% off the regular price. And it's not the regular price of the indicator because you can't get less than, than zero, but we're talking about the, you know, the maintenance fee. We're just going to drop it down to $69 a month, which is 30% off. And uh, if you do a bundle, which we have is, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a four, you know, four for the price of three kind of situation. We brought it down to 198. And again, that's just for the, you know, the maintenance portion of it. And then the, uh, this offer will expire on, on um, September 30th. And how to get it is the same way. When you click, when you click on there, um, oh, this is this is the path for the for these um, um, prices. Um, under under referrals, I have a discount code page, and there's discount, and the link to that is in the discount code. And the referrals, I have a lot of these prop firms that have been popping up over the last year or so. And so I just have a list and a list and a list of them, and they're always given discount codes out. So I've created a page specifically for discount codes, and inside there you'll get this link, or you can just type it in manually right there. But this will give you the, the links for the special offer that we're promoting. And once you do go into your PayPal account, um, you only want to do it after your seven days, because it's a seven-day free trial, but you've already had your seven days. So this is going to start you know, right away. So you don't need to do this just to try it out. So go ahead and play with it. And it's only when you are ready to go, then you would, then you would go ahead and do this because this, this starts, you know, immediately. So um, in order for continued use, you know, the contact form, I, I would need to have that filled out because I need your machine ID and everything. And, and so that's kind of simple. And if you want to join the Skype group, you would, you would go there too, because we need Skype address, obviously, if you want to join there and and chit chat. Um, so everything's kind of takes place around there. So other than that, it's pretty much all I've got. Um, I'm going to run through some chats here. If anybody uh, has any questions, there's there's the Skype. Uh, if you want to, you know, introduce yourself on Skype, and we could, uh, you know, connect, and I could move you into the, the traders group. Um, the phone number, if anybody uses those anymore, um, and then obviously the the contact page that I talked about. So let me run through some questions here. Um, your profit count on e-mini, how about micros? And it's kind of hard to say again, because uh, we don't have the, the data. You know, we haven't, this is new. We, we don't have the statistical data other than, you know, just the market replay for a little while to, um, to, really, to, to really give those numbers. And then the other question is, yours, your profit and and uh, risk tolerance might not be the same as mine. And obviously, if you're asking about e-minis or micros, then obviously they're, they're different. Um, and then the other question here, it says, don't overtrade. <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty much a, uh, th there you go with that one. So I, I can't tell you, I've been there. I, when I first started trading futures, I, I, I mean, I was in the hundreds of trades. I, it's nuts. Anyway, so the trial period does, uh, it is for seven days. Um, and then actually you could start that anytime. Um, but this, this, this discount that we're offering will expire on the 30th. So that will give you enough time to play with it, but you could, you could do that anytime. Um, do they work for Forex or stocks? Um, I've never tried it. I do have a forex.com account. 
Uh, and I do have the ability to run stocks in Ninja because this only works on Ninja. If you have the capability of doing that, um, it's never been tried, but uh, it should. I mean, an indicator is an indicator. So as long as you have the data available in your Ninja uh, you know, platform, then this indicator should work. And you know, again, I'll go back to that risk disclaimer that talks about, you know, um, you know, the risk tolerance. So do it accordingly. Um, does this indicator assume trading stops or close? Does it assume trading stops at close of market? No, it doesn't tell time. It just, uh, yeah, th this is an indicator. So you're going to have to, you know, you could set your, you could set your time not to go on at, you know, obviously you want it to close before the market closes. So you could say, don't take any new orders. But if you are in a trade, then it will stay on until you turn it off because it won't close it for you automatically. Uh, it does not give a seven day trial, but it's for one day. Okay, so you're referring to the PayPal. You're right. The You don't need to go into PayPal. So if you're going to try a seven day trial, just download the file and play with it. And you don't have to do anything. Don't even go to PayPal. It's when you go to PayPal and you want to continue it, that will trigger it right away. And actually, one of the slides I showed, if you, if you go in there to get that link under the subscriptions and you say, it'll say right there, do not you know, play with it for seven days first, because once you start PayPal, PayPal will trigger it, trigger it in the day. So it's assumed that you've already played with it um, for a while. And, and, and again, today it's the 30th. It won't expire till the 30th. So that'll be around till the 30th. So you have you know time to to go ahead and play with it, and um, so yeah, I would not start the PayPal just yet. And it's uh, is it ninety nine dollars per indicator? Yes, the maintenance fee. The the indicator itself, as I say, it doesn't cost anything right now, but we are charging only because of the. I can't tell you the amount of time and expense that has been put into into this. So so yes, it is. And most people and the bundle, and that's why we gave it for the bundle just so we can kind of, you know, diversify a little bit. But a lot of people I've come to find out don't trade all markets. They're really kind of focusing in on a few. So um, to answer your question on that one, um, are you going to send out the recording? Uh, Ninja is recording this. They said that uh, I asked the same question earlier. They're going to send it to me as soon as they proof it and edit it or do whatever they do with it. And then it'll be available and, uh, and, and, and you should be able to get uh, a link or you, you, an email on that too. So that way you could just, uh, when it's available, you just get an email and then click on it. Um, can you put the link on the chat? Oh, is that the links for the ATMs? Yes, I will do that. Um, do you have statistics and logs on the results of each indicator? As I mentioned earlier before, no, I don't have statistics because of the fact that well, one is still relatively new, but um, you know, I, I don't, I'm really not a scalper, so I don't take, you know, four or five ticks. Um, I, so I don't have, I don't, I don't have any of that information. So again, that's, that's the whole purpose of, uh, you know, it's, it doesn't cost anything and, and it's a free trial and, and all that. And you can check it out and play with it. And I, I recommend do it in the market replay. If, if you're not versed in market replay, jump into social hour that we have. You can go to the community tab. And jump in our social hour. That's just the Zoom uh, link, and, and we just chit chat. Uh, I don't know if anybody's in there right now, actually, but um, we'll see. And uh, can you show the ES from today? I don't have these are all slides. I don't even have the ES on uh, on a slide today. I think the one I don't even know what I was showing to be honest with you. I think it was crude. I was showing earlier in the slide. Uh, will there be a replay? Uh, a replay of this? Yes, I'm thinking you're referring to. Uh, a link to the recording. So seven day trial, seven day calendar, seven day calendar. Yeah, it's, it's seven calendar days. The whole theory is it is it uh, um, well one PayPal doesn't tell tell time, so it doesn't know what a trading day is. It's kind of dumb at that aspect, but it's it's basically uh, seven calendar days because I, we're assuming that you're doing this on the weekends. You're not trading live. You're, you're doing this on the weekends, market replay or whatever. You could certainly put it on, you know, on live data during the day uh, when you're when you're running. I'd recommend putting it on sim, make sure everything is working the way you want and doing what you want it to do. Uh, but you really should play after hours first with with replay. Um, 
Can we auto trade with the indicator? Yes, you can. Uh, it, it does have the ability if you want that on. Of course, you have to turn that little uh, uh, enable that switch that I talked about earlier. But yes, you can. Um, I'm watching my time here. So, so if I try for four X, which one of the pets should I try? I have absolutely no clue as far as four X. I don't. Uh, I got out of that many, many ten years ago, and. Uh, I, I really haven't touched it at all. So I haven't even attempted to put this on, on, you know, take it, flip a coin. So I could say on that. Uh, are you able to show charts for today? No, I don't have, uh, I, these, these charts were all, this presentation was made and had to get pre-approved and everything. So it's, it's, it's kind of old. Uh, works with Ninzarenko. Uh, yes, I have to, I do like Ninzarenko. That's, uh, my mainstay. And yes, it does work on Ninzarenko, um, but again, everything's based on your settings and and you know how how your your risk and and everything's based on your ATM. So how you how you work it is going to be on there, and that might be a little difference. But again, you have to play with it. You know, we're around to, to help by all means. If you have questions or whatever, um, we're we're here to experiment. But we have not not uh, basically it's meant for the for the range bars. Uh, I missed the entire webinar. Okay, yes, we'll be doing it again. I, I've done them a couple times. You could uh, go to webinars. You go to the web page, and there's a webinar link, um, and then you can just sign up for all future webinars, and you can get on a mailing list uh, that way too. So if you just go to the home page, wait a few seconds, there'll be a pop up and says a webinar, and there you go. Um, may I ask, did you program, or did you have somebody programmed it? I'm not a programmer. Uh, gosh, I can only do so much. Um, I presume you will need a VPS. No, I don't. I've, I've never had a VPS. Uh, VPS is the, you know, the virtual server. Uh, I suppose if you want faster speed, but I got a gig and I've never had a problem. I mean, I'm waiting for fiber optics, but it's not available in my area yet. But um, so to answer your question, I do know somebody who has VPS and that does do it, but it's not required. Now, if you're dealing with a, you know, a modem that dials up, you, you know, might want to consider a VPS, but um, especially if you're trading, regardless of what indicator you use. Um, when do you exit your trades if you're not 5.8 scalping ticks? If you're not 5 to, oh, 5.8 ticks. Uh, when do I exit? It all depends on the higher time frames. I look at higher time frames, and I'm, you know, sometimes if it's kind of in, in the middle or if it's ex, you know exceeding, then you're not going to go as much. If I'm getting in at where I think is going to be a, the edge or the bottom or, or the top, whichever it might be, then I'm I'm going for gusto. So that that will all depend again on on higher time frame charts. So I can't really help you on that one. But again, you could put it on, and if it takes a trade, you know, you could decide if, if you want. You could pause it, too. Um, you could just hit pause, and it'll just keep running and showing a signal. It just won't activate a trade. Or you don't even have to have that on at all and just leave it strictly as just, uh, you know, giving you a sound and plotting on the screen an arrow. And then what you do at that point is totally up to you. If it concurs with, with your trading, then, then go for it. And if it doesn't, if you don't like it, don't, don't do anything. Just let it go. But um, that's okay. I think I've covered all that. And I think I'm on time. Chris, how am I doing? Yep, we're nearing the end of our time limit today, Steve. All right. Well, I think I covered the questions. And I think I got basically an introduction on what it is. And if there, anybody has any other questions, by all means, you know, reach out. Um, you know, we could do private things. You know, that's the whole purpose of the social hour we do in there. We could share screens and, and help each other. And it's not just limited to, to this indicator. I mean, social hour has been around for a couple of years now. And we just talk, we talk trading. It's just a BS. It's, it's just a BS session. <laughs> so um, about trading, of course. So other than that, that's all I've got, Chris. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Thanks again, Steve, for taking the time to share with us today. If you enjoyed today's session, we hope you'll join us for future webinars. We would like to remind you that the information, and this was out of Tremper.com and not of NinjaTrader, all information was for educational purposes and not be construed as trading advice. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we hope to see you in future webinars. And happy trading from all of us at the NinjaTrader ecosystem. Thanks, Chris.